Hi everyone. This is Jeanette with Vivo Vintage Designs. Welcome to today's video. Before we get started, let me remind you that all the products used will be listed in the description box just below the video. So take a look if you have any questions regarding anything you see me using here. Also, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps my channel and I really appreciate it. So today I'm going to show you how I created this flower here. It uh, actually happened by accident and I'm hoping that I can recreate it for you. It was kind of easy. So let's get started. Um, we're going, the colors that I used are snow cap, uh, sunset orange, and pitch black. I also used um, the Ranger Stamper and uh, my airbrush, which is set at 40 PSI, and I'm working on Kirkland photo paper. So the first thing I did, and I'm just using a piece of scrap paper here. It's got a little splatter on it, but none of that will show. So I just sprayed my uh, photo paper with a little bit of alcohol, which doesn't seem to want to come out now. There we go. And again, I'm just using whatever ink is on my stamper. You can choose whatever colors you like. And I'm just stamping a background in. So I like to dry it in between. Put it on low, I have it on cool. And now I'm just going to put a little alcohol on the stamper. And if I need more ink, because I think this is running low, I can either flip it and grab what's on the underside. And I'm just going to put a little bit of alcohol on it and continue stamping. There we go. Here's the color I wanted. And I've got it, obviously you can see I have a combination of, of colors on here. I keep them because you can reuse the ink. Okay, I kind of like that. And I like the green because it looks like foliage once you've blown your flower out. All right, so let me dry this. And then the next thing I did was I took one of my little shot glasses here that I used to uh, for my alcohol for my uh, snow cap, and I just traced. I can find a pencil with a point on it. I traced a circle in the center of my paper, so I know that that is my center, and I use that as a guideline. So I took the um, snow cap and the sunset orange and I put a drop of each down. Let me get my airbrush cleared here. So I just put down one drop outside of the circle that I just paint, uh, traced on there. And then I used my airbrush and just blew that out. like that and I'm just going back and forth with the airbrush like this and I'm holding it about maybe an inch and a half or so away and I don't know that the combination matters whether you put the white down first or the uh, orange I'm just putting down just a little drop of each. I'm going to go all the way around. 
this is just my first layer. And now I'm taking the snow cap and I'm going to put down a drop um, just again outside the circle. This is my first layer and doing the same thing, blowing it out like that. And I'm not using a lot of snow cap, I'm just using one small drop to create these outside petals. So I'm trying to keep the same distance away from that circle that I drew as my guideline for my center. And this is similar to that multi-layered uh, flower that I did in one of my videos. I'll be sure to link that in the description box below so you can take a look at that video if you want more information on how to create this type of flower. Okay, now I'm going to move in just a little bit. You can see my circle is right here, the one that I drew with the pencil. And now I'm just going to move to the line. And let me clean off my bottle because it seems to be leaking. So I'm putting the drop down on the line that I drew and creating the next layer of petals which will be just a little bit shorter. And I'm, again, I'm not using a lot of snow cap. I'm not putting down a large amount. I'm just doing one small drop, as you can see. And I'm using quick bursts of air and just blowing it out. Really simple. So the last one here. And now I'm going to move in a little bit more in that circle. Now this drop will be inside the circle. So you can see I'm creating layers of these petals just by using that center, that uh, circle that I drew as my guideline. And then I'll close in just a little bit more, go further into the circle. OK, 
Okay, that's going to be my last one. And now I'm going to give this a quick dry with my uh, blow dryer. And then I'm going to take the pitch black and I'm going to put one drop in the center, let it spread a little bit. I think I may need a little bit more. Maybe I'll give it a little hand, let it spread. I mean, spread it around with my finger and then I'll dry it. And the reason I do this is because I want to create a shadow for the uh, center. So I want to make sure that that's completely dry. Let me put the caps on my inks before I spill them. Okay, that looks, that looks good so far. So now we're going to go back to the airbrush and I am going to just put one little drop of alcohol on touching the black, just touching the black. And then I'm going to blow that out. And it creates that little shadow that helps the center stand out. So I'm basically just touching the bottle to that black. And blowing it out. And it doesn't really um, affect the white that's underneath. It doesn't really change it much. but you will want to dry the alcohol as it uh, reaches beyond those white petals. Now I'll take the snow cap and I'll put it in my little shot glass here. Just a little bit. And I want to make sure that this is completely dry again. And then I'll take a micro brush to create my center. And I'm going to stay within the black, not going outside of it where I've added that um, shadow. So I'll start at the top where I want my light source to be coming from. And as I need to reload my brush, that's when I move down because I want to keep the bottom side darker. That's where the shade will be, with the shaded area. I'm going to dry in between. As your layers get heavier, you should really dry in between. And this is probably my last layer because this is a pretty small center.
And then if you like, you can take, let me see if this even works, I have a, a gel pen. The one I use to create the, these dots that, um, I don't know if you can see them, let me bring this closer. See these little dots that I created here? I did use a, uh, a gel pen for that. So I'm going to, see this is a different gel pen and I'm not sure it's going to work. Nope, doesn't want to work. But in any case, wait, I found another one. Let me see if this one works. Nope, this one doesn't work either. Well, you can, if you'd like, you can use a gel pen to add a little highlight like on this one and I'll bring them both closer so you can see how how that stands out it looks really pretty but the, unfortunately that gel pen is upstairs and this is the flower without the gel pen so both came out really pretty and again this happened just by accident I wasn't trying to create this flower but it turned out so pretty and um, I got a lot of comments on it and a lot of requests for a video. So this is it. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And check that description box for a list of all the products and links. And um, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.